Hi, this is Marie for MLS Office. Did you know that you can print on envelopes or labels through this software easily? Well, of course, as long as you have a contact record for anybody you want to print a label or envelope for. And of course, you have to make sure that you have their full name and mailing address in their contact record to be able to accomplish this. When you have all the contact records that you need in your software, make sure to select who you want to print a label or an envelope for by checking the box next to their name. I'll do that right now for a few of my contacts. When your selection is made, click on the label slash envelope button on the left hand side. The window that pops up will allow you to configure how the labels or envelopes will be printed. First choose the format of labels or envelopes you want to print on. Here I've got Avery 5160 labels at my disposal so I'll choose those for this exercise. I can also change the font size, the number of copies of each label or envelope that will be printed, and I can even adjust what will be printed on my labels or envelopes with the boxes on the right hand side. I can also adjust the print margins if I move a little bit further down. And for labels, I can also select where the printer will start printing on the sheet, on my label sheet. So if the sheet I'm using has a few labels already used, I just have to darken the area where the first label is available and that's where the printer will start printing. When I'm done, I click on the Create button at the bottom. I read this little warning and click on to Continue. And next, I have to look at the preview of my labels or envelopes to make sure they're all good to go. If the result is perfect, then I can send all of this off to my printer by clicking on the printer button located in the upper left corner. And that's it. I'm done. I've printed, in this case, labels for three of these uh, individuals, Helen, John, and Charles, and I'm ready to do my mailing. By the way, did you know that uh, you can group up your contacts and it can be a very, very useful thing if you're doing mailings on a regular basis. Like, for example, if you're sending calendars at the beginning of each year to a specific group of people, or if you send Christmas cards in December to some of your clients. Well, did you know that you can create what we call a mailing lists with the help of keywords in this software? And you can also use contact types to bring up lists of contacts that you want to target in a mailing. If you're interested in knowing more about this, please view our video called Organizing Your Contacts Efficiently, and we'll show you how that's done. In the meantime, I hope this short video was useful, and I hope to see you next time.